Good morning, children. To, my name is Alina Sezulu, and today I will be giving the children's story. So to start, our memory verse is coming from Luke chapter 10, verse 30 to 33. It says, Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the same place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So the title of our children's story today is People Need the Lord. What's the title? People Need the Lord. Okay. So how many of us have pets at our home? Okay. Okay, good number. I'm sure we take care of them, right? Yeah, okay. So today I have a story for you about a dog named Rufo. Mr. Charles was on his way home after a hard day. He was very tired, barely moving his feet as he walked. The sun was about to set. The wind was cool and a few leaves were falling from the trees. Suddenly, a stray dog appeared, flea-ridden, malnourished, and smelly with a totally destroyed coat. The dog's face expressed tenderness and compassion. Mr. Charles was moved by the sight and he had mercy on the little dog. He took it in his arms and brought it to his house to help it. That night, Mr. Charles bathed the dog. He tried to get rid of the fleas and healed his wounds. He gave the dog a name, Rufo. Mr. Charles let Rufo at the, Mr. Charles left Rufo at home for a few moments while he went to buy dog food at the nearest store. When he returned, Mr. Charles fed Rufo. The puppy's face changed. You could see how happy he was. Rufo had found a person who loved him. Mr. Charles prepared a place inside his house for Rufo to sleep. He chose a fluffy and very comfortable blanket. It was the best night for the little dog. The next morning, Mr. Charles went to the little bed where he had left Rufo. The dog was able to sit up and wagged his tail as if to say thank you. Mr. Charles had to go to work, so he left Rufo in the yard of his house in a safe place. Mr. Charles left water and food so that the little dog could be comfortable during the day. In the evening, Mr. Charles returned to take care of the puppy. After a week with hugs and many loving gestures, Rufo had changed dramatically. His coat was shiny. He had put on weight and no longer looked like a dog abandoned on the street. One night when Mr. Charles got home from work, he decided to clean his car. Unfortunately, he accidentally left the door of the house open, and in an instant, Rufo had escaped. Oh, after all I did for Rufo, and now he's gone, said Mr. Charles. But I'm left with the satisfaction of having helped him. The next morning, Mr. Charles heard barking outside his house. He opened the door and saw Rufo with a couple of strays, flea-ridden, foul-smelling dogs. Rufo had gone to fetch his canine friends to receive all the goodness and care of Mr. Charles. The story is well known, but it leaves us with a great lesson. God sees us with mercy. Just like the man described by Jesus in the parable of the Good Samaritan, who helped a man who had been mugged and left half dead. Jesus has healed our wounds. Jesus has restored, us, has restored our lives, but now it is up to us to go with our friends to tell them that there is someone who can help and heal them. People need the Lord. It is now our turn to bring others to Jesus. So just like Rufo, we should find our friends and bring them closer to Jesus. Amen? Amen. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here today. We pray that you'll be with us throughout the day. We pray that you help us this week to bring our friends closer to you so that we may all make it to heaven together. 
In Jesus' name we pray, amen.